Smart agriculture seems to be a buzzword for this decade. It is clear that the purpose is to guarantee food security. We need food. Population is growing, climates are changing, issues of profits in farming, dwindling resources, and pollution. There is no doubt that precision agriculture is important. Hi, we are MY123 in the Innovate Malaysia Design Competition, Keysight Technology Track and the Cyberview Design Challenge from UITM. Our project focuses on sensors and IoT in the area of smart agriculture. There are many approaches in precision agriculture. We chose to focus on solutions for soil effectiveness monitoring that require contact sensing, meaning we want to help in improving situations that require placing the sensor in the cultivation soil itself and incorporating it into an IoT framework. We imagine a sensor pack that can be connected in a modular kind of way. To use it, you just plug it in. It can measure multiple parameters. It is powered by resources readily available in the agricultural setup and it is connected to an IoT framework that has database and can trigger actions by a fatigation system. We built a plug and play sensor pack as a proof of concept. Our sensor pack incorporates physical sensors and electrochemical sensors. The physical sensor that we have is moisture and conductivity. The electrochemical sensor makes use of semiconductor device, which is the extended gate field effect transistor, or we call as an ACFAT. We develop ACFAT in the UITM Research Lab, and it allows pH measurement. The extended gate field effect transistor is a solid state semiconductor sensor, which is a detachable sensing layer that we can we screen print on a small ceramic substrate, so you can monitor the soil moisture, conductivity, pH, and other nutrients if you have the sensing layer. Since the sensing layer is detachable, the possibilities are endless. Sensors usually do not directly produce voltages that can be passed from sensor to outside world. So we need to include sensor interfacing circuits to capture the sensor response. The sensor readout interfacing circuits are built into the pack. We designed and 3D printed the sensor pack ourselves. In the pack, there is a LoRa node. LoRa node allows data communication from the soil location to a LoRa gateway that the company Vectolabs had placed in the university for various other applications. The LoRa node also allows communication with a fertigation system for triggering action on water for the soil and fertilization. Uh, from the gateway, the data is uploaded to a server which is then stored in a database that allows accessibility for further analytics. So data from many sensor packs can be integrated into the IoT framework. All in all, each sensor pack consumes very low amount of power of around 25 microwatts. We want to solve the issue of power supply required by each sensor pack since we have water supply for irrigation, we are suggesting a water-based microturbine generator. Hydropower is clean and the running and maintenance cost is low. Therefore, microturbine is packed into the sensor pack. All you need to do is plug it serially into the irrigation pipe. Water comes from a common fertigation system that controls the water fertilizer mixture based on the sensor readings. We designed our system using Keysight Technologies measurement equipment. For the development of sensors, we use Keysight DAC U2352A modular equipment to measure the sensor performance and water turbine power generation. For the development of extended gate field effect transistor sensor, we use Keysight P1500 for semiconductor characterization. Current voltage response against pH values were measured with Keysight oscilloscopes and DAC. This is to ensure constant voltage, constant current biasing are applied to the sensors. A graphic user interface has been designed for farm monitoring using Keysight V. There are still many issues to be solved, but the possibilities for this framework is endless. It is green because it uses hydro microturbine. It is modular in the sense that one can expand the elements to be sensed all in a single sensor pack and it uses long-range, low-power, wide-area network, allowing many sensor packs to be interconnected. 